Hello family, today is Fish Fry Friday. Today is July the 24th, 2015, and I am making me some quick lunch. And the lunch I am making on today is no other than oysters and fries. Now I have me three potatoes here that I'm going to make in medallions. I have an egg wash for my medium full jar of oysters. We're going to cut those up though because I don't like them whole. I have a seasoned bag of Louisiana fish fry, which I love, love, love this stuff. But if you don't have that, though, and you need to make your own um, coating batter, then therefore you will use no other than a little cornmeal. Um, you can use black pepper or lemon pepper, garlic powder, and seasoning salt, uh, just a little bit of um, flour, and that will give you the same thing that this will give you if you don't have that. But until then, we're working with that. So let's get started on cooking. Let's cut up these oysters. It's some nasty stuff. It's good, but it's just nasty. So, I'm gonna rinse these guys off a little bit. Now, I like to cut mine up, so let's do a little bit of that. It's no particular way to cut them. Just, you know, just cut them a little bit. They, they break apart very easily, so it's not like it's a lot of force that you have to do but I like mine cut up before they're fried because it makes them they have more crispier edges and so many things I just like mine cut up I don't like mine whole um, I've never really liked oysters right out of uh, the jar like some people like oysters raw I don't like mine's raw mines have to be cooked and I'm gonna need you to roll mine around in a little bit of cornmeal because I definitely wouldn't go for these steamed or baked or however where other people cook them. But nah, put mine in a little grease. I like mines in medallions. I just like them this way. It's not always good practice to just break your egg inside of things as opposed to breaking it inside of something first because that egg could be no good. So just be keep in mind when you're breaking your eggs inside of your dishes that, you know, that's a pretty fresh egg. So I didn't want it on my hands. So let's do a few of these numbers. And that's ready to go. So we're going to now take our handy dandy Ziploc bag. That's good enough. Let's get our I'm going to increase my chi by cutting it on each burner on high just for a few minutes. I'm cooking this in a 5.5 and I'm putting it all in one skillet to cook it. I'm adding just a little bit of canola oil in here. That is what I primarily cook with.
And in that same pot, we're going to begin putting our potatoes in there. 